Hello students, this is the important questions which has been uh, asked in the video question paper. A pentagonal pyramid of base 25M side and height 65M stands with its base on HP. The edge of the base is parallel to it. The horizontal plane section plane cuts the pyramid and passes through a point at an axis at a distance 40mm from the base. So draw the isometric projections of the frustum of pyramid. So what is this frustum? So frustum means the portion of a cone or a pyramid which remains after its upper part has been cut off by a plane parallel to its base. So for example, for example, if I'm going to have a pyramid, let's say example as the triangular pyramid or square pyramid so this is the front view so I am going to be cutting this with the section plane so that means if I am going to have the arrows in this direction that means the top portion is removed only the bottom portion is retained the same way if I am going to be having the section plane in the other direction that means we are going to be bringing the cutter from here and we are going to remove from this end so that means this we are going to be retaining it so this is what this section plane means and here frustum means the section plane is going to be parallel to its base. So when I am going to be re retaining only this portion, so the top portion, so that is the, the section plane. So in this case, the first term of pyramid, that means the apex part has been removed. So what? So it can be, instead of making it even, it can be made thin lines that means the retained portions will be in thick lines so this is how it is going to be when it is going to be with respect to the section plane they are also called as the truncated when the section plane is inclined to the base having some inclinations so this is called as the truncated right now the frustum which means the section plane is going to be parallel to the base so in this case we are going to solve for a pentagonal pyramid so first we shall draw the pentagonal pyramid so already we have solved it for the pentagonal pyramid without the section plane here already we have solved it in the previous class now in this class we are going to be solving for first term of pentagonal pyramid so the base side is 25 okay so first i'm going to be drawing this x y line so pentagon of the side length 25 i just keep this one parallel to x y line so this is the 25 side pentagon so next thing is I need to be enclosing this inside the box. So this should be in thin lines because it is the construction line. Next, what we are drawing is for the pyramid. So I need to find the apex point so this is the pyramid top view but what we are doing is for the first term of pentagonal pyramid so this I need to keep it in thin lines later we can make it thick lines what are retained now the height is 65 mm so I will projecting this from here and the height is 
65 now we are going to have bring the section plane cuts the pit now we are going to cut the horizontal section plane cuts the pyramid and passes at a height 40 mm so this height is 65 now I'm going to make the sec section plane which is of the height 40 so this is the section plane so here we are going to be cutting the top portion so we can call this point as the section plane as yes yes so usually if you're going to see the section plane at the end this will be in thick lines which will similar to the locus line so this is a section plane which will be thick here so here I'm going to make what are retained in thick lines. So this from here it is thick line, here it is thick line, here it is thick line. So when I'm going to see the front portion, so what I do is from here I'll just name these points which is nothing but A, B, C, D this point is E here it is called A dash so A dash to O point is visible so that means this should be in this should be thick line the farthest point from here is C and D which is going to be in dash type line So this point is A dash, this is B dash, C dash is not seen, D dash is not seen, E dash is seen, this is O dash, anyway the apex part will be removed now we are going to make this one thick water written is going to be thick lines so this should be in 0.5 now i need to see how it is going to be in the top view because he has given only the base side length which is 25 he has not given the what is the top face length so i'm going to be finding that distance I am going to project this line till here. This is O dash B dash H. So I need to project this one till O dash B dash H. So it is a first term. So I am going to draw an arc keeping this as the end point. it is not going to be the tangent point it is like I'll go for arc I'll take this this is the radius I'm going to bring I'm going to bring till this point because all the endpoints we have got it now this is again the construction line so this should be in thin lines now I'm going to be drawing from here till this year So this is how in the top view it is seen. This is the retained portion. And this is the slant triangle faces. So here this is. The top portion has been removed now i know this land edge length is 9.62 so 
so this one is 0.13 even if I'm going to be finding the distance from this point to this point it is 9.62 you can get it even in the front view even we can get it in the front view now we already know how to draw the pentagon for the pyramid so we shall take this distance 40.45 38.47 now we are going to be constructing this box so from here 20 30 40 40.45 40 so that means slightly more than that this become 45 you can just keep it even here no problem then from here it is 38.47 so 30 37.5 so you can just keep it somewhat here 37.538 approximately next is I can just take lines parallel to this and draw accordingly all these numbers is just for your reference so this point is 1 this is 2, this is 3 and this one is 4. Now I am going to take the distance from 1 to E which is 14.69. So from here 10, this become 15, 14 less than that. Similarly here. Similarly, from 4 to D, 7.73. So, 7 points, this become 5, 7.75. Here also same way, 5, 7.75. Next, we need to join this. then till the here so all the lines should be here should be in construction lines I made it thin just for your reference so next thing is I need to find the center so from this point I'm going to be drawing parallel to this next I am going to find the center from here which is equals to 21.27 so from here 10 20 that is 21 so I can just keep it somewhat here next thing is I am going to join to all these points this should be in thin lines I made it thick just for your reference this is the base what I'm drawing after drawing this pentagon now I need to see the distance from this point to this point so let us call this point as a1 just for your reference so O to a1 which is nothing but 8.18 so I'll take the distance from here this becomes 7.5 8 point approximately I take this distance which is coming as 6.99 so I'll take an distance from this point with this as a reference I'll cut it so next what we need to do is I need to draw lines parallel to this even you can see that this edge will be parallel to this edge this edge will be parallel to this edge so like that all the edges are going to be parallel so similarly here what we are going to do is I am going to draw the line parallel to 
so I'll take this line move select this end point I'm going to take this as the reference in the scale and move the roller scale like this till this point is going to be met now this line is going to be parallel to this similarly I'll take this line so this point now take the roller scale and move the row scale till this intersection points then similarly I'll take this so this is the end point move the roller scale till where this point is then take the roller scale here also the same way this is the intersection point So we have created a pentagon inside a pentagon. Now what we have drawn is just this one. We need to make the height of the first one which is equals to 40. So now I am going to be drawing the line like this. Now take the compass. Take the compass from this end to this end. And from here cut an arc. Here I don't know what is the distance. So it is 32.66. So I'll cut an arc from here 32.66 like that I'm going to draw all the lines from each of the corner and I'm going to draw it similarly. Now here I'll be just taking this line now I'm going to be joining this whatever I'm just drawing is the reference line so that it should be in the thin lengths from this point to this point now I have constructed it now we have just created a prism pentagonal prism of this shape I need to make the first term of pentagonal pyramid so this one is the construction line so I just change the color so these should be in thin lines all everything whatever we have drawn is the construction line anyway we are not going to retain all these lines just for you to understand the concept so after this from this point I am going to be joining to this from this point I will be joining to this so this is how, how we are going to be drawing this we need to remove all the construction lines now I will delete this construction line This will also be not visible. This box is just for the reference. This arc is reference. The center is reference. This. So this is how who you are going to construct. I hope uh, you understood how to solve it.